Are balloons the next weapon in North Korea's ever-expanding arsenal? Incidents involving Chinese and DPRK balloons highlight how they can pose threats in multi-domain conflict. There is news that a North Korean balloon drifted into South Korea on Sunday has raised new questions about the capabilities Pyongyang could attain by investing in advanced balloon technology. Balloons may appear innocuous as tools of war, but they present many advantages for countries like North Korea. Integrating swarms of balloons with existing drones, cyber attacks, space warfare and other modern capabilities could enable the DPRK to present a significant challenge to enemy defenses in a multi-domain conflict. Balloons' main military use remains intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, and countries like the US and China are increasingly turning to balloons to monitor their enemies and potentially even track hypersonic weapons. Different kinds of balloons can fly at various altitudes, but high-altitude surveillance balloons are more likely to operate between 80,000 and 120,000 feet lower than a satellite, but higher than military aircraft. Their maneuverability also makes them easier to control and thus less predictable than satellites following fixed paths. This would certainly prove an attractive proposition to the DPRK, which has already sought to boost its aging Air Force's limited capabilities through the development of drones that can go relatively unnoticed and evade ROK air defenses. For more on this developing story and other breaking news visit our website, the link is in the description of this video. To receive regular updates on interesting news stories, do subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can do so by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon at the bottom right of this video.